good day everyone today we will be doing something different i will be showing you a practically newly built hotel for sale in makati city the central business district of the philippines before we start please like and subscribe to our youtube channel click on the bell button so you will be notified whenever we release new and exciting content for you please like us on facebook click follow and add us to your newsfeed favorites Follow us on Instagram at mapletree.ph. I'm Dara, and welcome to Maple Tree Investment Tour. This hotel was only inaugurated last September 2019, but stopped operation in February 2020. That makes it operational for only five months, so it's still brand spanking new. They still haven't gotten a hotel star rating yet because of the pandemic, so they need to be in full operation for the Department of Tourism to rate them. This hotel is centrally located in the busy area of Makati. It's a short walk away from the Central Business District. You will find a lot of banks, restaurants, hotels, high-rise condominiums and a shopping mall literally all around this hotel i am very excited to have the opportunity to show you this 20-story hotel in makati with a total of 231 rooms this hotel is on a lot area of 797 square meters plus another 651 square meters for the hotel's annex building that's a total of 1,448 square meters combined for the lot area. And the total floor area of both structures are 17,246 square meters. So without further ado, let's now head in! Guests are received by this luxurious lobby. the reception counters right across the entrance. On my left are the guest elevators. You see the beautiful chandelier over there. So the admin office is right behind this reception counters. And then on my left is the kids' play area. This is the clinic or the nurse's station, over to my left. And this one is the luggage room. So right behind me is the hallway to the annex building, which I will show you later. I will now show you the male and the female washroom. So this is the male washroom. and the all-gender washroom, which is also accessible for persons with disability. Right here, or right behind me, is the CCTV room and the IT room. By the way, guys, we are currently on the upper ground floor. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the lower ground floor and the basement, but I will give you an idea on what you can find on those floors. So, on the basement, you will find the water reservoir and the cistern and the sewage treatment plant. You will also find the sales and marketing office, the general manager's office, and the HR and accounting office. And on the lower ground floor, you will find the laundry room where they wash the linen and the staff's locker rooms. Let's now head to the mezzanine floor through these guest elevators. So you will find two guest elevators here and one service elevator on the other side uh, in the hallway going to the hotel's annex building. 
please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button. Now let's head to the mezzanine floor. These passenger elevators can hold 17 people at a time. As we exit this elevator, you will be greeted by this hallway. So in this hallway, you will see a lot of beautiful chandeliers. You will also appreciate the view of the Grand Lobby. Let's now go to the dining hall or the breakfast buffet area. So there's the reception counter here. We are now entering the dining hall. Look at the details. It is so warm and elaborate. It gives you an appetite to eat more. <laughs> so these counters are all made of marble. They're so beautiful, right? So this is where you have your buffet during breakfast. And right here is a storage room for the kitchen equipment and utensils. The main kitchen is not located on this floor, but can be found on the lower ground floor. And then on this area, this has a seating capacity of 80 to 100 people. And then right here is an access to the hotel's ballroom, which we will go through later. Let us now head to the upper floors. I know you are very excited to see the different types of room, so I won't be delaying this any further. Let's now head up. I will be showing you seven different types of rooms in this hotel. Let's go guys! So the first room that I will show you is found on the 18th floor. So this room is called the Aria Suites. There are two types of Aria Suites which I will be showing you now. So the first type of Aria Suite is a 120 square meter room. Let's check it out. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Let's check out the first Aria Suite. So this Aria Suite again is a 120 square meter room. Welcome. So this is the foyer. Then this is the first bedroom. This Aria Suite has two bedrooms. So here you will find your vanity. Then right behind this door, you will see a safety deposit vault. And this room has an ensuite toilet and bath. So you have your vanity, your wash basin, or your sink. You also have a bathtub and the water closet. Let's check out the other parts of the room. So this is the second bedroom. Here is your study, and you also have a Bluetooth speakers there. Let's now check out the common toilet and bath. So you have a separate shower, the water closet, 
and your sink over here and a vanity mirror. Here is a dining area. And then to my left is a mini bar and your kitchen. So this room is for a couple's getaway, a honeymoon, or even a holiday with your family. You can rent this room for private parties with your friends or your relatives. And then right outside is your private dipping or your lounge pool overlooking to the central amenity on the 17th floor. Now let's check out the second Aria suite. The second Aria suite is an 83 square meter room. Here you will find the common toilet and bath. So you have your sink and your water closet. Oh, let me correct that. It's a powder room. It's not a toilet and bath. And then this one is your first bedroom. So you have your built-in wardrobe closet here. You also have a safety deposit vault right here. Of course, you have your own TV for this bedroom. So here you will find your kitchen. And then this area is your dining area. And then here is the second bedroom. So this bedroom has also a view of the dipping or the lounge pool and the 17th floor amenity area. So here is the living area and you also have a private dipping pool here. So come here. I want you to appreciate the view of the 17th floor. The five other rooms that we will look at is found on the 7th floor. Let's now check it out. We are now on the 7th floor and we'll be checking out the third room, which is the Suite Allegro. So this room is a 43.65 square meters room. You have your sofa here, you have your dining area, and you also have a rotating TV. Then you have your bed here and a Bluetooth speaker right over here. And then this area is your study. And you have a mini bar or a mini pantry over here. Of course, this room has an ensuite toilet and bath. your sink, your vanity, your water closet, your bidet, and your enclosed shower. Let's check out the fourth type of room. Next would be is the Deluxe Adagio. So this room is a 35.85 square meters. And right on this wall, you can find the energy saving switch, which you have to put in your key card so that the electricity will turn on. So here you have your study, your bed, your king bed. And right over here is your wardrobe closet. 
you will find a lot of drawers and the safety deposit vault here. And on this area is a mini bar or your mini pantry. And on my right is the ensuite toilet and bath. You will find the bathtub, the sink, and you also note if you also noticed, here you will find mood lighting or side lighting, whatever you want to call it. It adds good mood when you go inside the bathroom. Let's check out the other rooms, guys. All the rooms have European king-size beds, except for the next one that I will show you. So this is a deluxe Adagio variant, which has two queen-size beds. This room is 33 square meters in size. Let's check it out. So as you enter the room, you have the same inclusions for all rooms. Here you will find your hotel safe. So all the rooms have this hotel safe and the Bluetooth speakers. Here's the ensuite tiled and bath. So this room have a bathtub. Then here you will find your luggage rack. And then here's your two European queen size beds. And over there is your study. I think we have covered five types of rooms already. Now we are going to check out the sixth type of room, which is the Superior Deluxe Andante. So this room is a 28 square meter room. So you have a mini bar, mini pantry, and your luggage rack. And of course, your built-in closet. Last but not the least, the legato. I think I wasn't able to point out earlier. So here you will find the switches inside and outside of each room. Guests can switch on the do not disturb and make up room signs from inside easily so that the housekeeping will be guided accordingly as they pass by the hotel rooms. The hotel room's doorbells are also integrated into these panels. So this is the ensuite toilet and bath. And your study and your bed. This room is around 27 square meters. So all the doors, they've used laminated wood and tiles on the hallway and wood tiles on the rooms. Now we are done on the seventh floor and we are going back up to the amenity area, which is on the 17th floor. Let's go guys. This floor hosts a bar, a swimming pool, and a spa. We are now going to check out the spa first. We are now entering the spa. So here's the reception area. So here you will find your massage room. You have four massage rooms here. And then on the other side, you will find your massage chair or your foot spa. And then this room is the powder room.
Then here is a shower or your changing area. So the feel here is so warm. And here you will see a water feature. Then lastly, on this room, you will find the couple's massage room. They also have a jacuzzi here. So this is a perfect place for you to relax and rejuvenate. Now we are heading to the swimming pool and the bar area. So pardon the pool. They remove the water to keep the molds from growing. And then on this area are cabanas where you can relax and enjoy the view of the amenity and the city. So here are seating areas for the guest. And then here you have a bar where you can enjoy some social drinks with your friends or your relatives. We are done on the 17th floor and we are now going back to the 18th floor to check out the gym. Let's go! Now let's check out the gym facilities. So if you are interested to buy or invest in this type of property, please contact us in the number below. Or if you know anyone who might be interested and is capable of investing in this type of property, do let us know and we will be happy to assist them. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so and we will appreciate your love and support. Please don't leave yet because we are not done with our investment tour. We are now about to cover the hotel's annex building. Let's go! We are now back at the lobby and we are now heading to the hotel's annex building. So we will go through the main access for the guests to the ballroom. We are now on the hallway going to the ground floor of the annex building. So this area can be converted as your second hotel lobby or a coffee shop during the day or a bar at night. I heard that the bar across the street is doing very well. Now let's head up to the seventh floor to see the ballroom of the hotel. As we enter the ballroom, you will find a beautiful grand staircase. Which leads to the upper mezzanine or the upper ballroom area. So if you notice, there are no handrails yet, but they want something opulent and majestic. And then here, you will find the fire exit. On this fire exit, you have a window for ventilation. And then right by this hallway are the female and male washroom area. Oh, it's locked. Let's check the other one. It's also locked. Now let's check out the second fire exit on this side. This fire exit, please excuse the mess. So this fire exit doesn't have a window, but it has an air pressurization system. This can suck out the smoke when something is on fire. Now let's check out one of the office floors that can be found on the third level. There are four office floors for lease on this building, and this is one of the floors. So the only difference with the layout, 
that I showed you earlier, there's no grand staircase here. So here you will also find two fire exits and by the hallway are the washroom for the male and the female. They also have an electrical room here and an IT or the CCTV room here. This hotel is on a lot area of 797 square meters plus another 651 square meters for the annex building. That's a total of 1,448 square meters combined for the lot area. And the total floor area is 17,246 square meters. I'm Dara of Maple Tree, a multi-awarded real estate brokerage and your broker of choice. See you soon. Bye-bye.